What the F is going on? Hi guys. So for today's Throwback Thursday, we're gonna talk about how I was getting ready to go back to work, get off short-term disability, and how I became confused, frustrated, and pissed off. So stick around for that. All right, so in my last video, I discussed how I had talked to my doctor about adding a new medication to my routine, not new, but an old one, which was a couple of beers a night uh, as stress relief, whatever, and how it had worked. See that video for that. I know it's a divisive topic, but it has worked for me, won't work for everybody, blah, 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 whatever, but it had worked. Uh, it had made me go from, you know, multiple seizures a week, a month, to I had been two months without a seizure. I went from November of 2020 to January of 2021 with no seizures. And luckily enough, my short-term disability was running out on January 18th. So I called my work on around January 1st and said, hey, get ready, I'm coming back January 18th, which happened to be on a Monday. So I was like, this is all working out perfect, I am ready. And I was ready to go back to work, I was done. I was sick of being at home. Even, you know, it was during pandemic time, my company was back at it, you know, even with the six foot rule, the mask, all that, um, they were back in it. So I was ready. <sighs> nothing, I had changed nothing in my routine, right? My meds were all the same, my two beers a night were all the same, stress levels were good, nothing was stressing me out. So I called them around the 1st of January, right? Two months seizure free, ready to go. January 4th. Tonic-clonic, grand mal seizure, 10.30 at night. Only little thing that was different was I had a sore throat. No fever, no flu, no nothing, just a little scratchy thing. I didn't feel bad at all. And only thing I had taken for it was some Hall's cough drops. Hall's cough drops. So I called my epileptologist the next day and she's like, I mean, maybe? that could affect it? I wouldn't think so, but just stop the halls. All right, cool. Stop the halls, right? Two days later, January 6th, boom! <laughs> Donna Klon and Grandma seizure, 10.30 at night. Just a tiny scratchy throat, the same one, but no fever, no nothing, no sickness. And I had to be like allergies or something, I don't know. And I'm like, what is happening? And I was not stressed, nothing. And keep in mind, I'm getting ready to go back to work. Get off disability. Guys, January 8th, two days later, another tonic clonic, 10.30 at night, three in a row, two days apart. I'm like, <laughs> what? why, why now, what is happening? And so, you know, uh, after the, the January 6th one, after two, my epileptologist increased my Keppra because Keppra was a medicine that had been controlling my tonic clonics, right? So I had one more after um, that increase. And so she increased it one more time after that. And then uh, the, the tonic clonics stopped. But then after we got those, <laughs> that was under control. My, um, my, my, my brain was like, all right, cool, cool. You're gonna increase your Keppra and uh, stop my uh, tonic-clonics? All right, I'll go ahead and hit you with your partials now. See how you handle that. Oh, on January 12th, I had a partial light or a seizure out of nowhere. <laughs> and then on January 16th, I had another partial light or seizure. What the F is going on? Once again, my brain hates me. I, I, I couldn't, like January 18th, I'm supposed to go back to work. Get off disability. I, and 
and I wasn't sure. Okay, I, I was starting to get stressed at the, after like the the second, third tonic clonic. I'm not gonna lie, my stress levels are starting to go. <laughs> no, 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 no! This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Oh my god! So uh, I don't, I don't know what happened there because, and even my epileptologist is like. Are you changing anything? It's your sore throat. Like, do you have a fever with it or? No, nothing, nothing. And so increasing that Kepra did stop the grand mouse, but we don't know why the parcels kicked up after that. It was just my, my brain saying a big F you. You need to stay home. You ain't going back to work. I didn't know. <clears throat> but because I knew my disability was ending, I did go back to work on January 18th, just like I was scheduled. And that is a whole new adventure that you're gonna have to wait till next week to hear how that went. Cause it, I'm not gonna say it went smoothly. And that's all I have to say about that for this video. But, uh, yeah, so that's that was my frustrating and pissed offness for for that that time period. January of 2021. This year was not a fun month. It was frustrating and upsetting and very confusing. So um yeah, stick around for next week because you can find out uh, how it all played out going back to work after uh, my disability. So. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I will see you next week. Thanks. Bye.